for our today's lesson, I will be showing you how are you going to assemble and disassemble this piece. But before that, you have to know first the following. First, make sure that you're going to remove all the accessories that you are wearing whenever you are working with your piece. That is to avoid any grounds or any damages that might cause to your computer or injuries to you as an individual. So let's take it out. Second, make sure that the computer is being turned off and it has been unplugged to the side. Now, after doing those safety precautions, the next thing that we need to know now is the different parts of the system unit. What are the internal parts of the system unit? And what are the different parts of the monitor? So, let's take a look at the different parts. Come on. So, let's take a look at the different parts now of the computer or the system unit. First, we have here the hard disk. So, this is the hard disk. It is where all the application program will be installed and all the documents that you are currently working on with your computer can be seen in this hard disk. We also have what we call the SSD, that is the latest one. Where in the role of the SSD, it boosts the speed of your computer. That is why nowadays, I do advise that aside from having a hard disk or a HDD, provide an SSD like this, to boost the speed of your computer even though you are using a lower version of a processor. Then, we also have the CD and the DVD row. We have the floppy disk drive. So, nowadays, you can no longer see a floppy disk drive. This was a long time ago. In the year 1995 up to 2000, I think. Then, we have the power supply. Then we have the system or the CPU. We commonly use one as CPU. But actually, this one is the system unit for the CPU we're in. It is also called the brain of the computer is inside the system unit. And this is our CPU. Take a look at it. So we have the CPU. Then we have the ROM. So let's see what the RAM looks like. So that is the RAM. See? The random access memory. Then we have the motherboard. So here is our motherboard. The parts of the motherboard, we have the 4 pins or the 24 pins. Then we have the processor farm. We have the video card slots. This one is the ROM slots. So take a closer look of it. So that is the RAM slot. The random access memory. Then we have the video card slot. So we have the video card. So we have the CBUS. So there. It is where you can see our battery. The purpose of the battery is for the date and time of our computer. The question is, can we still use the computer even without the battery? Yes, but on a long part or later on, you're going to encounter already a problem. So, that's why the CMOS battery is very important in our computer. So, let's take a look at the different parts. Since we're done discussing already the different internal parts of the system unit and the motherboard, let's take a look at the external parts this time of the system unit. So, we have here the power plug ports. So, here is the power plug ports. We have the PS2 port for the keyboard and the mouse. Usually, or before, we are using that one for us to attach the mouse and the keyboard. But nowadays, we are using already a USB or the backward compatible. We are using a USB to attach the mouse and the keyboard. Then we have the serial ports, the VGA port for you to have a display in your monitor. We have the USB port. Or what we call the universal serial bus. Then we have the NIC port or the network interface card. Then the soundtrack. 
So those are the different external parts of the system unit.